this. Ooh. That's I'm right. As I am now. My What's show. show. I'm on the Bad Bassmaster show. Yes, but that was two or three years ago. I'm talking about current. I'm going to be. Fuck you. I fuck actually you? have a 30 second spot to run for you for my new show. Welcome to Counterculture, a talk show in a diner. A diner is, as far as I'm concerned, is a good old friend. You know what I'd like to order, Grover? What? How about a fine American hamburger? Now, you went to the SAG Awards. Yes, there was a star everywhere. Obama was a very eclectic drinker. Right. And he, they made their own beer at the White House. You never know who you're going to meet on Counterculture. There you go. I'm at the end now. I'm not in that show. No, you're not. Oh. Listen, you're still going to be broke AF though, even being on a TV show. <laughs> we're going to cover uh, Guns N' Roses. We have the Stargate Pin. We have Road Kings. And uh, what's the other game? Oh, no, you can't punch out. Lost in Space? Uh, no, that's another video. Um, listen, I have to, we're not starting See anything until. Th listen, going, gentlemen? Th stuff's coming out. Good night. There's hair coming out. Scarecrow. More hair than Todd has on his head. Somebody put the scarecrow sure, on. Sure, that's how Todd's hair. Sure. Oh, I know, I know what it is. It says coffee on it, but from who? Right. Can you open Creep. that? I need some help. Oh, okay. Oh, Rob, see sure, what that is. Hard. Wow. What is that? Coffee? Le Mans, single origin, medium roast, Colombia. Jonathan. Colombian coffee's the best. Beans. Beans! <laughs> That's Wayne Moore's niece, Beans. <laughs> what was that? Her name is Beans. That goes what back a decade. S S single origin, <laughs> medium roast, Mexico. That's the Jim. Jim is limited edition. Read, who's it from? Drive Coffee. Uh, this is from Chris. We use this as a Calejo. Chris. Hey, Chris. I'm, I probably pronounced that wrong, but that's my best shot at it. Smith. Calejo. <laughs> Thanks for shopping with us. From Delray, Florida. Thanks, Chris. You can pour this right into your engine. Just like that. It's it's gonna gonna do. That's right. Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, we must have done something nice. <laughs> don't remember. He's going to place an order for a game. He wants to put a rush on it, so he's bribing you with some coffee. Thank you very much. I I'll have to reset. You gotta edit that out. No, maybe I'll, I'll find out by the end of the video. Wait a minute. Okay, look. Another box. And priority mail from Andy Schmidt. Andy Schmidt. Oh, Andy Schmidt. He came to TNT. I remember. He came and he brought, he thought they were coffee beans and they were coffee candy. You remember that? He came and visited us at TNT. You're always welcome to visit us at TNT, but you cannot come unless you bring coffee, A, beans, it could be beans ground or ground, O and B, uh, you have to have um, gold bullion is preferred. What's By the all, thing? right? No, no, no. Donuts, uh, donuts. Gold pizza. Bullion, anybody? Coffee. You coffee can gone, sleep when you're dead. You can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it says? Let me see. There you uh, go. Oh, Columbia. That's good. Like Dear Todd, real coffee from Zen Cafe in South Bend, Indiana. Take that, uh, Josh. <laughs> Early candies. Oh well, yeah, he, he when he bought the candies, he, he was told they were coffee beans. Well, thank you very much. Were they chocolate covered coffee oh, beans? God, I can smell Let me smell that one. Thanks very much. I can smell something, but it's probably you. That's really nice. Thank you. And I lastly, that, that we, we packed Todd box. and coffee beans to coffee grounds. Wait a minute. Sent the other smell is him. This is from <laughs> Scotty D's Jamaican coffee. coffee and sh <laughs> But it says TNT Museum for Scotty to open. I got something? He did. I never well, got nothing. Scott's sitting there because he knew we were doing this. Yeah, but I right. told him, you have to open it. Baby. Oh, I don't get no, a thing I didn't give him the opener. I didn't give him the opener. This is, I don't need no stinking it. knife. I wonder who this is from. Blades of steel, he's got to. 
Read it. Amazon. Oh, yeah, but it, it's easy to tell you. Amazon, <laughs> Amazon Prime. <laughs> Amazon sent it again. Okay, is there should be a note on one of those little stickers. No? A coffee. Scotty D's Espresso Lion. Scotty D. Somebody there. has a play on words. So we Lee found, Bartholomew. Lee. So when man who doesn't get coffee, a thing, it says Scotty on it? <laughs> Listen. When a man who doesn't get a thing, here's his coffee with his name on it. Ah, look at that. Nice. That was really nice, Lee. I'm still hey, going to say I got nothing in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't one you get one of those little fans Lee sent to? And one day I will be rich and Nobody famous. Nobody cares. Didn't when you I'm get one of those little show. USB fans? We all got them. Didn't you get one too? Wow. Uh, the little USB fans that Lee sent us? I never got that. Well, Ugh. I got this hat. It's all dirty. Well, <laughs> listen. The Idaho potato head? <laughs> listen, I am, head. I am enjoying my coffee, but sometimes... Nobody cares. So what do you think, Rob? Sometimes you have to do a shot of this here. So. <laughs> didn't work. You just did a whip it. I tried to get it to come out like a zit. A giant zit. Too late. <laughs> Todd does that all, right. all the time. All over my Let's see the Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Not the first white sh** out well of his mouth. <laughs> We're in. I can't say that. It's all gone. <laughs> Nobody will hear it. Yeah, you're a pussy. Yeah, whoever gets Okay, Dan, stand right there next to your Guns N' Roses. You're doing a great job. Are we doing the Guns N' Roses? Okay. Today? Another shuffle alley. 140. So many so games going out. Rich guy problems. Uh, this is Dan. Dan we already met sent Dan. this machine. Oh. Well, you were back there. Thinking about how great you're not. Dan said he needed to get this game overhauled. It was actually not bad to start. It wasn't bad. Um, it needed um, some help. For instance, it desperately needed um, um, powder coating. Plate, Dumb. powder coating. A plating plate, 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 food. So we we you're powder hungry. coated the rails. Powder coated the shooter. Did you do this next door, or did you take them home and do it? So we did it. Did you do it in the office? I assigned an imbecile to drive the stuff to the powder coating place, and then when they finished it, I assigned another imbecile to go and pick it up and bring it back. Oh, it sounded like you did the whole and thing. And we also you you didn't powder pick it coated up? the legs right there. That's right. And we made the decision that at no extra charge, every game we sell from now on will have powder coated legs. Other stuff can be arranged for extra, but. The legs are all going to be powder coated. Now, Dan ordered some stuff online. He ordered a brand new plastic set. Yes, they're back in production. Yes, they are. And Dan they're gorgeous. is going to be listing his used plastics. But this is the really neat thing, Dan. The original piece of black plexiglass in the back that did not light, the company that made the plastic set, look what they've done. Welcome to the jungle. Isn't that gorgeous? We lit it with strips mm -hmm. from Comet Pinball. These are amazing strips. The, absolutely. You need to order hundreds of them. There's tons of them. We've got strips we have them here. everywhere. Jason put them under the snake. Which looks See fantastic. how our snake right is there. Right Oops. There we go. I gotta, I keep, I don't know why. I, you know, I use this little finger a lot. Too often. <laughs> I can't wait till I get you a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Mr. Snake is lit. Uh, super bright LEDs. These are the tower LEDs. The nines. Um, they're, they're beautiful. Um, Comic Pinball sells tons of great stuff too. And we also get uh, lights LEDs from uh, Pinball, Pinball Life. Life. Pinball Life. So these are all the different things that we have. Uh, lights Out Pinball, we also got stuff from, but they may be changing names. So I wasn't going to mention them there. But anyway, let me get back to this. Um, there are three different kinds of launch ramps. This is ramp one. This is how you know what you have. The first set of ramps made by Data East were black. This is the original black launch lamp. Okay? Launch ramp, lamp. ramp. Launch, launch lamp. ramp. It launch ramp. It rhymed. Tongue twisting. This is my first day talking. This is the original black feeder ramp. Uh, ramp two was, was chrome. And they, they bent, bent it a little different to accept the balls better. And then ramp three, this is replaced. <laughs> this is actually the new one. 
directs the bowl here, okay, this one is, is turned, you can't use the old one, and then uh, the new one goes under the R. See the letter R, it goes under the R. Listen, yes, it's G-R. I thought this was so great. I mean, how clever can you be? What a beautiful way of doing it. Um, I do have a very elaborate video here that shows you all the rules of this game. This game was just so, everybody forgot this game. Just like that, it came and went, nobody bothered, nobody cared. It's only about 2,000. Nobody it's cared. Not many. And this thing is packed with crap to do. All kinds of stuff. You got a captive ball here for the duff right here. Mm -hmm. See up here? And then the neat thing is it fires off of this. This is a dual purpose pop bumper. So when it goes up here, it can fire off of that, get some really good action if you shake the darn thing. Whack that baby around. Yeah, whack that baby around. We put new drop Sorry. targets on. You have to put new drop <laughs> targets on these things. The old ones get brittle, and then new stickers, okay? We have these wonderful Cliffy, um, these, you know the black sleeves, you know, they, they serve their purpose. Their purpose is done. If you are ordering black sleeves, you're a fool. Just got two more thumbs, thumbs down. down on that. Two. I got a sign on and thumbs you down. Are. Hold on a second. It, Cliffy makes this, God bless this guy, God. He makes this beautiful pole protector for everything now. They're beautiful. They're mm -hmm. actually, they should be in an art gallery. They're so beautifully made. They're machined. They're gorgeous. Beautiful things. They don't, you don't cut your fingers. They've done everything. They've polished it, machined to perfection. And guess what? The man is now selling them to Stern. Oh, really? Yeah, he now makes them for anybody that'll make them. God bless the guy. I hope he becomes like a zillion from it now. God, I hope he does. And he makes these beautiful posts. You'll never, ever change a post again. They do absolutely do zero wear. Wow. I mean, you could wipe them off and they look like brand new again. So we color matched it for you. Now, the uh, original back glass was actually nice. Uh, it had a couple little issues, stain mm. issues, but you won't see it. And then we, of course, oh, I forgot I locked it. You already know what we've done in the back. I was going to try to pull my stupid shop gag, but I didn't. But listen, <laughs> I didn't want stupid. you to see. We have the light matic green buttons on the side. Mm -hmm. That's um, uh, a nice addition. Everything is wire tied in, including the lights in the back are actually wired up into the head. Mm -hmm. The man will have zero problems moving this. Nothing will become unplugged. Uh, the flippers are rebuilt. Tons of work. The problem is, this is going to cost you an extra ten thousand dollars. Really? That I got out of the bank. <laughs> <laughs> ching ching. No, no, it's a. Uh, uh, oh, but he paid. You, he bought the display. The, uh, this is the number one thing you can mm. do for your pinball. And Cliffy's stuff is number two. I'm sorry, Cliffy. It's Dave. But uh, color display from Color DMD. We got the LED one. It's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And I like it better. I think it's going to be more, possibly more durable. It's certainly going to be a little less fragile. But the LCD one, we've had zero trouble. The only problem we've ever had with any of Color DMD stuff is right out of the box, and they, they, they solve the problem instantly. Okay. You get an exchange. <clears throat> Once it's installed, you've ne you never had a failure to have You've probably been using it about four years now? Four or five years? Never had, had any failures. problems. Wow. No. After. We've had them out of the box and it's in the game for like a day. Mm -hmm. Almost all problems are right away. Did you see the color? It's beautiful. The video doesn't do you'd be an absolute, you have to see it in person. You'd be an absolute idiot not to exchange your glass. I'll just swing the camera right off. Well, you said idiot. I thought you wanted me to point it at you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? God. Beautiful. Anyway, you could take the old idiot. glass and sell it to some doofus like this. Yeah, I'll buy your own glass. I don't mind orange. It's a nice color. What? Where did that? Where did you come with that? I don't know. I was I don't know. This I, game's beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing is, it doesn't. It's got work. more color than any it game. It doesn't work. We didn't actually fix it. I don't think it works. Of all the pans in the world, this is one of them. I, I just thought that was so clever. Now, we have it the way all pinball machines should be played, on a board, no legs here. Right. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's loading. We've added the feeding our Mr. Bowl over. You should tell him how to fix it. Yes, uh, we actually had to bend the ram, so it bended to this every time. So uh, nothing that appliers won't solve. I want to show you that, that locked bowl here. We even have a kicker, too. Yeah, it keeps the bowl up there for quite a bit. Look at that. See, it does that little kicker. It keeps that bowl moving. It's very nice. Oh, and lastly, we added my very expensive... It's actually less than ten dollars. <laughs> Boy, it does look nice. It, it, it highlights it, reflects the colors back in. You can also buy a pin blades mm -hmm. from other places. This will peel right off. You can add other people's pin blades, whatever you want to do. But you know, for eight dollars, I said, let me put them on real quick. You have them. You're not in a good animal. Are you? Wait, I think you're ready. I like the fact that when this is bouncing around, I love it. see how it's blinking all the lights? Yeah. That's such a nice touch. Isn't that a nice touch? It is. Awesome. Very really nice. Beautifully programmed. What a great deal. Well, I hope you enjoy your game. I will. Trust me. I got other things to do. I got people to see and money to make. The snake pit's lit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's do the snake pit. All right, now watch this right here. That popped up, went here. Okay, now listen, I want to tell you, this little coil, boy, what, it's just this tiny little baby coil. Oh, Frank, on this side, let me show. It's this little affair. Can you see it? Now, this is the coil that has no sleeve in it. It's really unusual. And I have one spare one because we had one game where some clod hopper took it out of the guy's game. It wasn't even in it. So I ordered two. I ordered one as a spare one on the side. And this has the taxi spinner. I got 15 million for that. This thing is so much for. We put in red color uh, flashlights under the jackpot. So Rad, see how that flashes red? It's a strikingly different thing. We also lit the hole, the, uh, mm -hmm. your hole right here. It's, oh, I wanted to tell you, this bulb wasn't even there. Oh, really? It wasn't there. They cut the wires off inside. So we had to find the wire in the harness and replace the light and socket. I, char I charged $8 for that. <laughs> so we put a socket in. These are these Was sockets. I like that. I like that price. Yeah, it's, it's a special um, these, these that's all he has in the bank. Uh, Eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm going to show you right here. That's the pimple resource number. These are the greatest sockets on planet Earth. Okay. Now this is pop riveted on, but it comes in this the socket. You can use these everywhere in your game to add lighting. Okay. And they're as easy as can be. They're the same light. See, that's the same socket there. Okay. With a with a, um, a, a thing on the front. So if, if this socket broke off, you just use pop rivet it in. By the way, you can buy a pop rivet gun that does professional $8. pop rivets. Like For $8. $8. $12. The rivets That's are $8. Dollars. It's ready. we got to get this man out because yes. I need his money. i got to, Rob, i got to order that Lexus. I've, I've given up on the Bentley out of my price range, but I found a great looking Lexus for 90000 yeah, right. Everything's black on it. The interior, the exterior, everything. Are you going to get a remote start with that one? No! <laughs> no, that's an extra $8. Do we don't have that. Let me show you my... <laughs> rotten, accurate dealer. Creep. Look. Ooh, 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 ooh. See? Ooh, 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 ooh. See? I can start my... It's creeps. Wasn't that mean? See, this clip's on, say, I can have it anywhere. Put that in your key ring. I'm going to fit your pocket well. Rob, <laughs> it's not my car! Uh-oh. Uh, no. Oscars. Oscars Spy Hunter. It's coming along. Can somebody pack this up because I want you to walk out with me. I want to show. Um, oh, the off-road challenge is going out. 
Robert, is that good to go? Yes, that's ready. That's ready. Uh, Oscars. <laughs> He wants me dead. Um, Oscar's multi. Did I flap that in your face? Look, another monitor. <laughs> Look, it's beautiful. It still has. It still. We still have some work. Don't touch it. It's wet. You mean like this? Yeah. I wonder what the inside looks like. Well, we're gonna show that when it's done. Done. The you guy forgot done, to done. send me. I, uh, uh, Jeff at Classic Arcades did the stencils. I, as I said before, he the guy wanted it stenciled. He did not want a um, overlay. It's beautiful. Uh, nice. But this will be the Robotron sides, and he forgot to send them. So we have a television in it, and we have the new control panel. So this is going to be Oscar. See, it's almost done, Oscar. Your two games. He's been waiting a long time. Oh well, look, I have this available. It's uh, 1,600 watts. It's, e it's cheap to run. <laughs> All, right. All right, but Bob, you know what? I need to show you Banny Hunter from ages ago. Let me go in and show you that. Well, it's done. The Bounty Hunter. And uh, I'm actually really thrilled at how well it came out. This was the second game with their dot matrix display. Dot matrix? That's a really dot nice dot <laughs> matrix. What kind of custom DMD controller did they use for that? It was color DMD. Oh! Which one? Oh, you... oh, I... oh, oh, God, I wish I had your face on that. Your reaction was priceless. I didn't want to lose all the work we did actually. See, it wasn't going to come over. See, look. I'm not that would stupid. Be so great. That was no, it wouldn't be. That would be so great. God, the guy half the machines that get smashed in here are because of you. <laughs> Listen. Every time you smashed the dome on the soccer 10, game, I, you know, I was I so glad it was you that did that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game came in it, on the back of an open trailer. It was wrapped in, sort of wrapped. It got wet. It got this whole front was gone. It was all bulged and <clears throat> look at what Steven's done. He had to we had to scrape everything down, all the way down. You can't match the color because it's got the spatter perfect, but he had we had no options. It looked awful. It was all bulged out. And uh yeah, so that's what you had to do. It's uh uh but it's been fixed. He he had to repaint some of the brown. So you have to mix it in. You have to feather it in. Richard May's feather. <clears throat> Richard's from England, and we're working on another game of his. Yes, Richard, I didn't forget you. Anyway, this is going to Jason Bayer. He lives in Canada. Bayer Ashburn? He, he's bought other games from us, and actually we're going to be working... Oh, hold it, let me catch the reader. That's the relay. I never saw you move so fast other than at the buffet. Uh, make sure I get what I want at the buffet. Listen, I found something out about our, the heater. When that click goes on, on a big heater like this, and it, it starts a draft motor. That starts spinning. If that comes up to speed okay, then it kicks on the big motors. There's actually two motors in this thing. Yeah, my heater does the same thing. It's just to make sure there's the no back pressure in the chimney. And next door in the warehouse, our the little motor froze. It went bad, so the heater wouldn't kick in the main heater. It only lasts thirty thousand years. No, I got forty crummy years out of that motor. It was brand new in '79. Forty crummy years. I'm driving it over to the motor shop and screaming at them. <coughs> anyway, so the little motor goes. Drafts working. Then they, then this says good. Well, let's turn on the big motor and the gas. It ignites the gas. Yeah, gas. You enough gas on this game here or what? Listen, let me tell you something. Uh, the game came in. The, the man that that worked on it before did an okay job, but he didn't put the right LEDs in it. It wasn't bright. It was ugly. It, so we we fixed it up. He actually left the 44s up here. These are red LEDs, and these spin. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've got a great video of it right here. Okay. Um, so he added, 
the brighter lights. Okay, I have the bullets here. They're all nice, bright white. It had a black target in here. That's not supposed to be black, for goodness sakes. Let's see, watch. There it is. There's Cactus Sam. He's down. See, it's supposed to be bright, so you can see it. Steve Young still has the original sticker. They had some goofy sticker on there, too. That's fixed. That's all fixed. Um, original round targets we touched up. They were actually in great shape. So Steven touched it up. Now, look. See this here? It didn't look like that, did it? As a matter of fact, here's what it looked like. Let me show you. You've been watching the, the, the uh, bounty hunter. Steven... Um, Actually, Jake was working this. He had to take all the parts off of this because all the paint was missing in these areas here. So that's been repainted. Can you come in closer, please? <laughs> that's Scott. Look at that. All redone. Beautiful. Now I want you to watch when I start the game. It'll say wanted and then Cactus Sam will flash and all the lights on the play field will be out. Here we go. There we are. That's who you want to get. Nice down. Good. And then as you hit various targets and things. Boy, I managed to miss both the top bumpers. It actually went right through both, Frank. <laughs> now we're fixing them. Look, fire. And it's that chamber roll. I love that. That's the way you want to go in. Keep your boys in the chamber. You rotate the bullets. See? It rotates them here. Okay? Nothing happens this way. But you can fire them that way. The bullets are uh, pretty good for something this simple. Oh, you know, I wanted to say, look. Put a fire LED right here with a cigarette. And uh, Steven was able to touch up the back glass. It needed a little tiny bit of touch up here and there, as you can see. And uh, everything is so nice and neat back here. Uh, the person who shipped it put this new power supply in. And it requires a ground to run all the way to the bottom. But we have our button battery in. And we serviced all the boards capacitors on the soundboard too and of course that magical jumper that ensures no further problems. Why would you do that? It's because you just run a jumper wire between all the boards. Yes. <laughs> Boy. It's good. This is on its way. It's going out to Washington State where it gets transported from there to Canada. Got a Stargate. It's going out. Rob, look, it's got our new sticker on it. We've got a brand new Mylar in the back. I still have a few of these left. Not many. Not many. But brand new. Brand new. Back. I have spent. used ones that are actually decent. 20 bucks plus shipping. It's like eight, eight bucks to ship it. So if one of you start a Mylar, $20 is a fair price, don't you? Uh, look, I want to show you what we did. This has a target right down here. It was black in the original game. I'm going to start it now. Take the skill shot. And then, now the target's up. Take a peek at it. See how it has a nice blue glow to it. So that's a nice uh, thing that you can do for your start. Also, the this part here, New targets, new stickers. That is the very best. You've all seen so actually here's the Stargate video. A complete detail. Now, we did put light matic color changer buttons here. So these will go through the spectrum. Very nice.
alley cats. Come around, Scotty's filming now. This is one of Scotty's overhauls. We got this ready for our customer. Um, now, oddly enough, right next to it, the customer found an alley cats here at somebody's house and he sent us in for an overhaul. So we're doing play field and actually, Scott did these this pin section for it earlier, didn't you? Here's the pins he's working on in that game. Scotty started by squirting everything with uh, simple green. Okay. Then he takes Mr. Toothbrush and he brushes the crud. This is loosening everything. Okay, so he's loosening the crud, and then this will get washed outside. Correct. This will be hosed down. Frozen solid. Well, right back in. see, it's fine to do that as long as everything gets dry. So you don't hook it all back up. But this way, the mechanism's like it was new. Now, I can probably guess, I could, I could reasonably say with 100% accuracy that no one ever cleaned this since the game was purchased brand new. Back in 80, let's see, this is Tic Tac. This would be 86. Let's see, look at that. I got it. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw that. Did, did you catch that? I don't think I've ever done that before. Seven ten split? My God, I actually got it. See, to get that, you have to roll over the, the things just so. God, beer frame. So, now the person who wins this frame is uh, the beer. So I had a knot, so that I was hoping to get one of these now. Let's see if I can get this one. Ah! See, Rob? Oh. Oh. There. It's loading up the match. These actually match too, by the way. So you can actually set them to match. So the last digit seven didn't match to my 146. It cheated me, but it actually didn't. It set at 10%. Did you order a mug from Zazzle.com? Brian, the guy that, that designed this, said this would be perfect to put a frosty uh, root beer soda in. One scoop ice some cream, yes. some whipped cream on top, and a nice root beer inside. Yeah, that, that, that would, would do work. It. it looks like it's cold right now. That would do it. Now, Rob, going with the Sally Cats is Road Kings. I suspect there's a Road Kings up front. Shall we look at it? We should. Look at this. I wanted to show you. Don't rip the wall, oh, no. you're going no, to knock them things our... off the oh, wall. That'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Crashing down right on your new game. I want to show you how beautiful this thing is. Not for um, long. Another Road Kings. Um, this is near perfect. I mean, plastics are perfect. We have the usual repair on the center target. You always have this piece here that you have to fix. But that's been repaired. It will never go bad again, as long as we live. Uh, the game will never get damaged. There's a lot of nevers here. Well, two You'll fires never be on TV. Here. Two fire LEDs. Uh, they're from uh, Comet Pinball. They're, they're, they're really terrific. Another one here. And he did, he lit this, of course, this is a red game. You have to do a lot of red, but then he's, he made one cycle blue, one cycle white. Have fire up top. If, uh, color changers here, um, really nice. Uh, we took this in trade. Some <clears throat> stuff was done to it, but most of it wasn't done right. We also, these are lit here. Now, that was lit by the former owner, and this is a different system that we use. But we had to clean it. We cleaned it all up. The wires, were, the wires were strewn in here, just all over. We've wired it correctly with connectors so the stuff can be unplugged and removed. This is how you should do it. See how everything's nice and neat in here. Um, we had to rebuild the flippers. They were skipped. I don't know why. 
it's funny, some people shop them, they half shop them. Now, we've updated the 63 system to LEDs. You need to take out the 330 um, resistor. That has to come out forever. So you take them all off your board and then you have to wire them. They are wired in series. You have to wire them in parallel to make them work. You're done forever. All LEDs, no more 63 nonsense. You're done. Oh, the hole has a blinker in it too. Will be Over here, top. We have white, blue. Got it. I already shot the cutter. Uh, shot video. the customer? Shot. Shot. You shot the customer. I mean, I, mean, I shot. Hope you paid first. I shot. <laughs> I shot a video for the customer to show them how great we are. You already heard on the other videos that this was produced uh, it was $100 less, maybe $150 less than Pinbot, which came out at the same time because people needed a slightly cheaper pinball machine. So I think this was, I think maybe the retail was $2,000. It was, it was $150 less than Pinbot. Save a little money and you get what they call the street game. Not a lot of excessive excitement, but a great game as you already know and you know there, there's the video right there actually Rob this video yeah. you can see me riding on a motorcycle in this video <laughs> you'd be like Pee Wee Armin crashing and you'll hear me road. sing this Tired, tricks and broken hearts. let's get away from the past so I don't think that anybody wants to hear that oh Are you on your phone again? I'm busy. Okay. No, you're not. Right. Did you like Road Kings? Yes, of course. We did it. It's one of our greater games. But guess what? Had some guys show up to pick up those <coughs> bargain basement games. Frank, I'm trying to talk. <coughs> a 10,000 square foot building. Go somewhere else. I, they they want to see... Uh, Plus a warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Plus they, they want to see part. everything. Ooh. Where's the check? Everything? Everything. Uh, by the way, this weekend I'm, we're doing a live uh, feed, probably, uh, from Richie Knuckles' new arcade on Saturday. Maybe that'll work. That live feed. Oh. Anyway, look. I started to tell you. Tom. <laughs> Tall Tom. A guy showed up to bar another bargain basement sale. Kurt, we filmed it up front. Let, let, let's just show you it. Rom, where's what? that idiot, that Paul guy who wanted that arcade? Where is he? Idiot, someone, guy. someone call him idiot. Oh, Paul. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Can hey, you look, believe? There's something on your shirt. Oh, you're going good. You can't do I that can't to do our that. customers. You can do this. Oof. Oh, nice wallet we got. <laughs> Listen, he saw the bargain basement video bargain. number twenty-one. He saw Arkanoid, and his beautiful wife said, we have to buy this. She did. Yeah, come around the corner, because this one actually has an extra perk. Now, if you watch our bargain basement videos, which you're supposed to, you're supposed to. We have a retail price, okay, right there, and then we have a wholesale price, which is on the bargain basement. Actually, we're working... This is the closet the kids clung in. That, that's, that's, no, that's another story. So what we have here is a cocktail that he is getting a great deal on because he's actually getting a brand new glass on top of that because the other glass was scratched to crap. So he's got a $100 glass. He's getting this for the amazing price of... $800. Plus I free! The beautiful, beautiful thing about this, Paul, not only do you get the brand new glass, which we usually bang people over the head for, sure, but you're also it. getting a rebuilt Geo 7. So the Geo 7 has new flyback, new capacitors, all the good things known to man. Here, let me show you. Come around here, Sonny. Sonny! No, no. You know how to turn the light on. Here, I'll do it for you. Okay, bring Mr. Cameron in. And as you can see, capacitor's all new, a brand new flyback. 
So it's got our restore on the monitor. He's going to do the work on the cabinet. But I got him started off right with a brand new glass, didn't I? Yes, you did. And you know why that is? Bring the camera. See, you move. You're the cameraman. You're also cockeyed. I don't like to be framed that way. There we are. I think you look better cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we are great. We are full of greatness here. Full of it. Lots of great I think you're full of it, all right. Not necessarily great. Good. Let's get this guy loaded. He wants to get out of here. And look, look what I have here. <laughs> Enough to make another payment on the Lexus. I've downgraded from the Bentley. We just got through testing a whole bunch of hey, boys. I did. I paid him with all he's doing. I paid Kurt to test them. Three Stooges, Kroll. Um, well, if you paid Kurt to do it, you better have gotten seven thousand dollars for those boards, Josh. You definitely lost money. What he, this guy gets paid an hour. I have a video right here showing the nineteen boards. Where we had them, we sold them in two hours. They're gone. But Kurt found a few more boards That's me. that are not in that video. What? One of the most famous, rarest games of all, Reactor. Kids go nuts for reactor. We have five reactor boards. We have one more, one more working crow, and one crow with no picture. I thought there was a three stooges. Another three stooges, Kurt. There is. Yeah, here it is. Here's the stooge. There's a stooge right there. Here's the other stooge. Well, we were celebrating because, as you already know, uh, my PBS. TV episode went live today. What? Yes, it's a big hit. I have a link directly to their website at the um, in the description below. How many views? Counting his? Tell you. Two. Ten. Doesn't tell Two you. Views, People, right. they love me, Kurt. I'm famous. And soon I'll be super famous, I hope. I don't know, maybe, maybe it, I, I hope it, it's really a good episode. Take a look at it. You might learn something, too. I share my wealth of knowledge. How many pancakes order? What kind of syrup to use? What How much flour is in the pancakes? Bacon, sausage. Sweet learn. Are there eggs free range? No, I'll hate it. And listen, that's Tammy's song. So buy her album, watch our videos. Look at the TV episode. How much is her album? One came home, one stayed behind. The cannonball don't be no more. The cannonball don't pay no mind. Is your gentle or is your kind? You don't think of the folks behind. All on a beautiful moon.